That's what we do at lunch is we go play. When Kevin Brackney and his black Labrador Nima play together in his backyard, they look like any owner and dog goofing around. But Kevin has Nima for a reason. Kevin is an army veteran who was twice deployed to Iraq. He was the guy they stick on top of trucks, often the first one to get shot at. Usually we were selected because we were uh, single. Uh, they didn't put people that were married up in there in the, uh, in the turrets. Um, there was a very conscious decision not to have married men on the convoy teams because of the nature of the job. When Kevin returned to the States, it was hard readjusting to regular life. He often felt anxious and silence troubled him. And it actually got to the point where whenever I came back, I would have to play the opening scene of Saving Private Ryan to get to sleep at night because I was so used to the noise. When he did sleep, it was only for about an hour a night. Kevin did not want to admit he was suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder. I mean, you're your own worst critic at that point. You think, oh man, I can't feel this. I'm, you know, I'm Sergeant Brackney. I'm not allowed to, to have feelings. Feelings? They're, they're crushed, like food, water, and sleep. He got married and had a daughter, but continued to struggle with PTSD. You know, he, he would get anxious and, you know, he would have panic attacks and he just wasn't seeming like himself anymore. A daddy-daughter date night at the Chick-fil-A in a mole served as his wake-up call. So the one seat that was open had the back towards the opening of the Chick-fil-A, which I knew better that I would not be all right with it, but I wanted to do it for my daughter. I felt like I was having a heart attack. I just my heart was racing, I was sweating. It was just not where I needed to be. And I was really anxious. So I had to remove myself and put myself over in the other section and take myself out of there. And uh, it really affected me. I, I then his wife Janine heard about the organization Puppies Behind Bars, which works with prison inmates to train service dogs for veterans. Getting Nima changed his life. He could finally go out and socialize. That's why they matched me up with Nima, because she's such a social dog. She'll seek it out when she's allowed to. She'll look at me, and she'll look at me, and then look at them like, you gonna let me interact with this person? Nima, block. Nima knows over 80 commands, including block, block, where she lies in front of Kevin to block someone from approaching him too closely. My favorite one is watch my back is where she stands on my left side. She faces backwards. If anybody's coming from behind, she'll notify me. It's good, got my back. Good girl. Kevin Nima. even salute. taught Nima to salute. Salute. Yes, good salute. She also serves as a reminder that in Iraq, dogs and children were usually a good sign. When we were out and about in uh, convoying from one place to the other, when we saw kids and we saw dogs, we knew we were safe. The moment Kevin removes Nima's working dog vest, she becomes the family pet. Oh yes, Nima is definitely part of the family. And her and her and my daughter get along like, yeah, they're conspiring every now and then. They conspire against us. Give Nima hugs. <laughs> but Kevin's struggles aren't over. I, I can't sit here and say that you know, in in five years I'll be cured because it really isn't like that. It's something that I'll always be with you. It's, it's a part of who you are, for better or worse. Though it helps to know Nima's got his back. Good girl. Jessica Hartogs, CBSNews.com. Nima.